Oh, hi, come on in. Welcome to the Head Over Heels Body Shop. I'm Jack, Jack Hammer. Our motto here, nobody is perfect, but everybody is special. And plenty of special bodies have been through the shop. A scarecrow without a brain, a little wooden boy wishing to become real. Ribbit. And just the other day, a little girl came in because her pet frog had been turned into a prince. Oh, I tinker around a lot, but let me make it clear. I'm not a doctor. Doctors repair broken bones or stitch you up when you get cut. <laughs> I can't stand a sight of blood. I'm not a carpenter, a barber, or an auto mechanic. I'm what you might call a mechanic of misconception. Here in my shop, I repair people's misunderstandings of others. I fix goofy notions that others have about people with special conditions, like right-handed people are better than left-handed people. I'm a lefty. I can do things just as well as righty. Or how about this? Girls are smarter than boys. Say what? Now listen, I don't work alone. I've got friends that know a lot more about special conditions than I do because they live with them. Friends like Tristan, who was born deaf, but that doesn't stop him from being, well, being Tristan. My name is Tristan, and I can't hear. So don't bother yelling at me or honking your horn. You are a monkey? Yes. I'm deaf. No, I don't know. I'll never be able to hear a clock tick. or a kitten purr. Meow. But I still like kittens. Nobody can hear a tree grow or hear the sun rise or hear the stars twinkle. But that doesn't mean you can't enjoy them. I talk with my hands. It's called sign language. A, B, C, D, dinosaur. E, F, G, H, happy. I, J, K, L, M, mom. N, O, P, papa. Q, R, S, T, Tristan. U, V, W, wrestling. X, Y, and Z. Little pig, little pig, let me in, he said. But not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. I'm deaf. But I still can enjoy a good story. Build a plane. Or make a mask. This year, I'm on a baseball team. <laughs> baseball players make special signs. I watch TV. 
but I need to read what people are saying. It's called closed caption TV. The words are right on the screen. One of my favorite things to do is go to my grandpa's farm. Boy, there's lots of chores that need to be done. Grandpa says these hay cutters get pretty noisy. How should I know? Someday, I might have a farm of my own. My name is Tristan. I can't hear. But I sure can drive a tractor. Always wear eye protection when you're working or playing around things that can cause eye injuries. We have five senses. Smelling, touching, tasting, hearing, and seeing. But seeing is one of the most important eyes are the picture windows to our world. Our eyes are made up of different parts that all work together to help us see. This is my private eye. And this clear covering is called the cornea. The colored part behind it is called the iris. And the dark circle in the middle is called the pupil. The pupil opens up wider and closes down smaller to let different amounts of light into our eyes. Sort of like the lens iris on this camera. Our eyes take in an image through the cornea and pupil to the back of the eye called the retina. It's the eye's movie screen that shows the picture of what we're looking at. The retina image is upside down and backwards, but as it passes through the optic nerve heading for our brain, we end up seeing things just fine. Fine for most of us. My friend Olivia had problems with her optic nerve when she was born. She has trouble seeing certain things clearly. But believe me, she sees many things very clearly. Well, see for yourself. Why did the North Central tell jokes to the mirror? This is my, <laughs> here's a good one. He wanted to see it crack up. I like telling people things about my eyes and how it's different from theirs. The only problem is with my optic nerve in the back of my eye and kind of way back here. It's smaller than other kids, but it is getting thicker and bigger. Kids do tease me. They call me blind, and here's the worst one. Ready to hear this? Cross eye girl. It feels very upsetting and very embarrassing when people call you names. Just because you're different than somebody, it's kind of good to be different. The doctor thought that I could never see again. I couldn't even see my Cheerios on my high chair tray. But now that I'm older, I need some equipment to help my eye. Now, there's a kind of a magnifier. It's called a dome magnifier. Bubbles, gum, and a uh, cold to wear. Uh, Flower and Freddy Bear. I did a talk in front of my class about my eyes and braille, and um, my dad videotaped it. He does that a lot on me. There was a little boy named Lewis Braille. He was the one who invented braille. He went into his dad's workshop even though he knew he wasn't supposed to. And he started playing with the sharp tool. I don't remember what it was, but all I know is that it was a very sharp tool. 
and he accidentally poked it into his eye, and that made him blind, so he couldn't see at all. But Lewis Braille thought there was a way blind people could write and read for themselves. Braille is writing you can read with your fingers instead of using your eyes. It's kind of like learning a different language, like Spanish, English, French. The dots are dot one, dot dot one, dot dot two, and dot dot five. And down here, that little itty bitty thing, just like the button, is an H in Braille. So I feel it. Feels kind of good. If you get used to it. This is an O in Braille. Here's an O L in Braille. Here's an I T I. That's how I spell my name. It takes six full songs. On the playground, I have trouble seeing my head. Now, what the monocular does is I put it up to my eye, and this thing turns so I can focus it from blurry and better. Oh, there they are. She smiles a lot when I see her at school. She never got. She's never grumpy to me or any of my friends. And I have a lot of friends who I play with them. They like to include Olivia on what we're playing. Okay, we go here. That should we do or think on the Should we do seven of them? I don't think she's really different from a whole other people. I mean, besides her sight. I mean, she's just the same as, you know, everybody else. And it doesn't really matter. Ready, ready, go. Hey, that's better. For rainbow set, she loves. And uh, yeah. rollerblading, biking. Oh, you did it! <laughs> Her Barbie car. Uh, I'm kind of big for that, but oh well. Even though I'm short and I can't see that well, and they're bigger and taller, and they can see well, they still like me the way I am. Like Olivia says, it's good to be different. Speaking of different, check this guy out. He's got wheels for feet. Now some creatures have hooves, others have paws, some have fins. Your feet take you where you want to go. Almost 15,000 steps a day. That's 1,645 miles every year. And they're not just for walking. They're landing platforms when we jump and paddles when we swim. We usually don't even think about our feet unless they hurt. When my friend Emily was little, she lost part of her leg in an accident. She wears an artificial leg called a prosthesis. Her love of life and her positive attitude give her a real leg up on a lot of people. I don't really know what happened, but my mom told me that my leg got cut off in the barn cleaner when I was 22 months. And my dad pulled me out and my leg ripped off. Down there. I fell down stairs. I have to put on three socks to get me like balanced. You don't want a ugly leg that doesn't look like a real leg. And put my leg on and then I can walk. My grandma calls it Elsie, I don't know why. She just thought of that name. Once it like, my leg is in fit, I think that we usually get a new leg. All I know is a lot of money. A lot, lot more than a pair of shoes. Those are kind of cute. You know, I like mostly all shoes. I like sandals and tennis shoes. And it's hard to get them on. It's difficult, but we just try. And sometimes the like, heel is really small. And this one's pretty fat, so some of them don't fit.
Spider-Ham. For my sports, it's hard to run mostly. I can't do it um, for a long time. Sometimes when you run a lot, yeah. Or when you walk a lot, you get sores because it gets sweaty. Usually at night and when I take a bath and swimming, I take it off. And swim like other people do. It's difficult because you have to carry crutches around all the time. And people have to help you out. You can never have too many friends. Is Brittany there? We talk on the phone. Don't I wait so much? <laughs> and sometimes we take pictures of us with makeup on and dresses. And I don't mind people looking at me. It doesn't bother me. Because usually you don't see this stuff often. So I like the way that I am. I mean, I wish I had a real leg, but I can't really help that. I would like to be a teacher that talks about Maybe that talks about prosthesis and stuff. Franklin Roosevelt got polio and couldn't walk, but that didn't stop him from becoming a president of the United States. And having just one leg is not going to stop me from doing what I want to do. I like to sing. I'm a, I'm a, I'm alright. It's a beautiful day and I can't stop, so I guess I'm doing alright. I'm a, I'm a, I'm alright. I got a good old friend here with me tonight, I guess I'm doing alright. Ow! Do you like it? Love. Great. How about you? You guys like it? Great. Well, I made it for you. Tristan, I wanted to thank you, and thank you, Emily, and thank you, Olivia, for stopping by and sharing your stories, okay? Now, here, this is hard to get going, so I'll help you. And then uh, you guys go play with that and have fun, all right? And thank you for stopping by the shop. Now, the next time you bump into somebody that's getting bent out of shape because somebody else is different, you can straighten them out. Remember, nobody's perfect. Everybody's special. Stop back again, okay? Hey, you forgot your watch! Hold up! <laughs>